I'm not even gonna lie. Like you think you're fit? Play with the kid. They will take the energy out of you. Hey guys, so <laughs> I'm so happy to feel like myself again. I'm not gonna lie, last week's vlog it was crazy i was sick not just me my entire family we were sick throughout last week's vlog so it wasn't actually a vlog it was like a hospital situation okay we were just trying to get well drinking medicine and just trying to be fine ah, it's a new week i'm excited to be fine i'm excited to be strong back in my element or whatever i still definitely sound a little nasal that's because of fever i feel like it's still a little there uh, but welcome to a new vlog a new weekly vlog mm. you're welcome to a new week if you're seeing me for the very first time my name is Akusia Benhini um, yeah this is my channel and you're welcome in this week you know I'm hoping to put some energy and some life back onto the channel because we're not about to be sick but I have a few things from Tafora. I'm definitely flustered. Like my mind, it's like a lot. Cause last week I didn't do so much talking. I, maybe I did, but you know, because I was sick. I feel like I'm now coming back into myself. Um, but I have a few things from Sephora, which I'm excited for. So let me grab the box and let's open that together. We also have a new TV. <laughs> I'm so happy. We finally have a new TV. It was delivered literally this evening. So um, my husband is out when he comes back you put it up um but yeah look at what we have from sephora i'm cooking and then um i can just call it a night and see you guys proper proper tomorrow okay so give me one second let me grab the things from sephora okay you guys so i had to quickly bring you into my bathroom because i like being here i'm not gonna lie the lightning here is really good but it's also a little late so i'm kind of tired but let's get into the things that we have from Sephora. Okay, so I got the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the airbrush finish um, micro powder. I got it in the medium size, small size. I think this is small. This is definitely not medium because this is so small. Look at that. <laughs> it is so tiny. It's literally so small. So this is what it looks like. I've been wanting to try one of these powders for the longest time. I'll use this to brighten my under eye. I think it will be so perfect. Because you guys know I like me a good bright under eye. So Then I also got two of the Sephora powders. If you haven't tried makeup products from Sephora themselves, you should. Because their brand is so good. Their products are like, mm, their foundation. Their powders, I haven't tried their powders before, but I've heard a lot, a lot of things about the powders. But their foundation, I have that, and it's so good, and I love it. Like, I'm so excited to try these out. So, I got these in, like, two different shades. I'll use this to brighten my under eye or highlight, and then I'll use this to set my face. Um, I think this is a little too bright, but... Hmm, I think it will work. It won't be so bad, so... And then I also got the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop... This is the Ease Drop Foundation, the one that's supposed to be like um, like a tinted moisturizer vibe. So this particular one, I think this would be perfect for um, Fenty is really good with packaging, you guys. They will package the hell out of the thing. Um, but I think this would be perfect for like everyday makeup and you know, running around and stuff like that. Even though I don't wear makeup every day. I will still try this out so we see okay and then I also got the Sephora concealer this is their best skin ever concealer it's a full coverage concealer I got it in 55N 55N um, this is gonna definitely be my like highlighting concealer and then this is the girl that I have been waiting for mm -mm -mm. I feel like this might be I don't know we'll see we'll see because these shades and buying makeup online can be a little a little something sometimes um but oh this is the house of labs foundation house of labs house i, I don't know why i always say house of labs but it's house labs house labs by lady gaga um this is the foundation i got the 
shade 540 deep neutral I will definitely try it out in a video for you guys to see what it looks like this is the foundation this is the foundation this is what it looks like it's beautiful this is a triclone skin tech foundation um, uh, I think that she will work fine I think the shade is going to be okay I think I can definitely work with the shade it's not bad it's not totally off you know when you buy makeup and it comes and the shade is not there I don't like that it makes me not happy so <laughs> they also added some samples here I have the Mizani Miracle Leave-In and then I also have the Laneige sample this is the cream skin toner it's a toner <laughs> oh this is cute this is cute and then I also picked some samples for the new Laura Mercier foundation um, this is their real flawless weightless perfecting foundation this is just like foundation samples um, but that's pretty much everything that I have in this Sephora box I think I'm excited to have new makeup as per usual I look sleepy I'm gonna go to bed you guys again the TV is gorgeous let me show you it's just absolutely beautiful She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She know that I want to be good for you. She know that I want... Good morning, guys. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday today. It's raining. It's raining. My daughter is sleeping. We slept in the living room because of the new TV. And we've been sleeping in the living room since we got sick. I'm not going to lie. We've been sleeping in the living room. Um, for the past few days and it's actually been like really refreshing to watch TV you know and like just chill but anyway good morning I woke up today I did not work out let me just say that I haven't worked out in a while it's this week that I'm only coming back to my fitness routine I got sick obviously and then I think the week prior to that I also didn't work out so I haven't worked out in like two weeks is this week that I'm coming back to fitness I did Monday I did Tuesday today I didn't do it because my body is so sore <laughs> it's a joke what my arms they are so sore my ribs hurting on fire yesterday I couldn't finish a 30 minutes workout I could only do like 15 minutes and I'm like oh my god I feel so wobbly. I feel like a child. I feel literally like a newbie in fitness. Um, but I'm back. I'm back to being like, you know, fit and taking care of myself. I should let me also say that I'm being very bad with my food. Oh, terrible. <laughs> All over the place. When I tell you the types of meals that I've been eating, when I tell you how much I have been ordering out it's so bad like I've been I've just not been craving my own food I don't know why um, I feel like I'm tired of the recipes that I make I I just need a, a change I don't know but I've been ordering out a lot these days and I want to like put a stop to all of that you know it's not even about trying to like be it's not even about you know stopping like ordering out I have also so Eating outside food a lot for me is not in the long run it will just come back to hurt me that's the one thing that the doctors advise me <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry that's the one thing that the doctors advised me on um, when the last time I checked my ulcer with a doctor that's the one thing they said they said limit outside food make sure you know what is going into your food so that's why i'm always saying that i like to know what's going into my food but i'm not gonna lie we have just been eating out these days so bad and i need to relax i just need to chill on that so i'm gonna do that you know i want to take charge of myself and myself my food again so i cleaned out my fridge um, over the weekend tossed out everything that i didn't need she's nice and clean um, and you know, I'm trying to be 
I'm trying to get myself back on track, okay? I've been I've been bad. I've been a bad child. I haven't been taking care of myself. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's that's something. Um I also just wanna say that I got a new bottle of my rituals. I finished the other bottle. It's good. I haven't felt let me just say that even though I haven't been working out, I have still felt like myself. I have I haven't gained weight it's crazy like it's crazy how much I've been eating out and how my eating habits has become so bad like I'm eating in bed literally like I'm laying down and chewing nachos like legit I'm chewing some chips or something I'm always and I never used to do that that was never me you would never catch me doing that so yeah but I think that ritual is definitely that's your girl some good because you know it has um, garlic and everything and I think it does with it definitely helps with keeping me deep bloated because I haven't felt bloated I haven't felt bloated I don't even remember I don't even remember, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't even remember the last time I felt like uncomfortable like digestive wise like I feel really good so I think I can actually put you guys on this you know it's safe to say that I like it okay but I'm about to make something for us to eat this morning. I'm not so sure what I want to make for myself. Um, but I do know that I'm hungry, so I have to figure out something to eat. Um, the agenda for today is just work, basically, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, but it's just a chill day. Nothing really serious. You guys know. I'm always home. <laughs> I work from home, so my life is literally almost always home. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so... Let me get into what I want to do, make some breakfast, and then we can get into the day, okay? You know that I want to be good for you. You know that I want to be good for you, I do. But sometimes someone was bad for me. Sometimes someone was bad, or oh, can't you see? I'm just being weak. Mm -hmm. I think you know that I care for you. You know that I care for you, I do But sometimes I can't be there for me Sometimes I can't be there, baby, can't you see That I'm just being me mm. Sometimes we're just colliding And we keep on fighting But we'll be okay Cause we got Unconditional love Sometimes we're just crying But we'll keep on trying I know we'll be okay Cause we got unconditional love Damn, I don't wanna be mad on you No, I don't wanna be mad on things you do But sometimes I need what's best for me Sometimes I need what's best, baby, can't you see? So breakfast is ready. I bent my toast. I'm so mad. Like, um, but I just made some eggs with some toast and some oat. This is literally Ghana style type of oat. I like that. So I'm going to go sit and enjoy this for a second. Um, and then I'll check back in with you guys later, okay? finished eating my little girl is up I'm gonna go do a quick morning routine for her is it just me that is liking how fluffy this hair is giving like like I don't know I feel like I shouldn't tame it down because I can I can just add water to you know define the curls and make it much more calm but I am also I'm not even gonna lie <laughs> Ever since I became an influencer, right? Or ever since I started taking social media as a job. Ever since I started wanting to put myself out there. Because initially, I'm not going to lie, social media was just like fun for me. I started social media out of high school. I'm not going to lie, I've had my YouTube for almost 10 years. And it's only now that I'm taking it serious. I keep saying that. Because I've had it for a very long time. Instagram, the whole nine yards, I've always been... A social media girl but it's only like in the past or in the last like 
four or five years that I've decided to like take it really serious. And with that being said, right, I don't think that I've actually put myself out there, like sell myself to a brand or something. I think I've done it a few times um, in terms of like collaborations. But now I want to do that more. This year, I want to put myself out there. I want to put my work out there. I believe in my potential as a content creator, as a beauty content creator, precisely. I'm sorry. I just had my medicine. I just drank water, so yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry. So um, this year, I really do want to put myself out there. I really do want to work with more brands. Um, I've... I don't know for whatever reason I was just sitting down and waiting for brands to approach me uh, but I've also come to learn that that happens sometimes but not every time you have to be able to put yourself out there you have to be able to you know put your work out there so with that being said today I'm gonna work on sending out some PR emails to some brands that I really want to work with and then hopefully you know I don't know I don't know I don't know for whatever reason I feel so scared I feel like, oh, it's so scary putting myself out there in that light. But also, I know that it's something that I have to do for myself. I have to, like, I feel like that's my little next step, pushing myself to um, be in a lot more brands, ears, and faces, you know? So, yeah, I'm going to go shower my girl, set her up, give her some food. And then I think I'll be working in the kitchen today, how to set up my laptop here and do some work, you know, put myself out there, because it's giving me, I'm, I'm low-key scared, I don't know, I don't know why I'm scared, it just feels so weird thinking of it, but it's something that needs to be done, so I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, okay, this year we're putting ourselves out there, and that's on period, that's all I can say, I'm not giving myself any excuses, taking any negative mentality out of my mind and just putting myself out there so yeah <laughs> so i have just finished sending out um some emails ah! literally that's how i feel i feel like oh uh, but anyway i'm just gonna let that go and let god handle the rest okay i'm just gonna let god handle the rest um but i was able to send emails out to one two three four i think four different brands so that's good so i'm gonna go check that off my list but i'm hungry okay i'm hungry right now it's currently three 3 p.m. I'm thinking of just going ahead to making dinner. My battery is flashing. You guys might go off very soon. Um, I want to make some peanut butter soup because, you know, since we got sick, we've been drinking a lot of soup and that's the one thing that has been helping the system. So I wouldn't really want to make some peanut butter soup. So I might make that, but I am personally craving seafood. So peanut butter is for the house, my husband and I, but personally I'm craving seafood. So I might make some seafood boil, you know, just a quick one, nothing crazy. So I can eat that. So yeah, sorry, mama. Um, but yes, sorry. Okay, but yeah, that's pretty much everything for right now. I'm hungry, I've done, social media work is done. I posted a vlog, I posted on my Instagram. I sent out some emails that I was supposed to work on. So yes, for the most part, social media job is done. I'm gonna make some food because I'm hungry. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys what I do, whatever I decide to do. I'm not gonna lie because my battery is flashing and I have to charge them. So I will show you what I decide to do. Okay. Good morning guys. Good morning. It's Wednesday today. Wednesday. I literally just woke up. I hope my face doesn't look crazy. Um, but it's daycare run. We have daycare run this morning. It's 6 30. I usually on daycare days I wake up very early to just put everything together. When I wake up in the morning my voice is so husky. It's crazy. Um I haven't done anything. I have to wash my face, brush my teeth. So I'm gonna go do that. But it's daycare run. So let's start off by picking an outfit that she's going to wear to school. And make her run do that. 
Hey, loves. <laughs> I'm back home. Okay, I'm back home from daycare drop off. Um, it's actually 11 right now. I wanted to talk to you guys for a second because um, we had a meeting. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to talk to you guys about this. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but this is, I feel like something was telling me to share it because there just might be someone out there who is going through the same thing um a parent out there um so my husband and i we just had a meeting with um the early intervention people um and basically if you don't know what early intervention is it is sort of services that is provided to a family that has a child that is having delay in um, development so my little girl um, my second one she's currently having speech delay she's two okay and I know someone will say she's two um, kids can talk after two which is true um, but as a mom as a parent you live with your child so you know your child and we have an older child you know my oldest child started talking at like seven months i'm not gonna lie she she picked up a lot of things very fast um my second child beautiful everything you know she's walking doing stuff for herself and stuff but she hasn't talked she hasn't said anything literally not even a word she hasn't said mom she hasn't said dad and as a parent that is definitely a thing of concern you know um, because you as a parent you want your child to have all the good things which includes developing in the way that they're supposed to and my daughter is such a ball of energy like ball of light is what I wanted to say she's such a beautiful soul and I keep thinking to myself I'm not gonna lie this is me opening up to you guys on a whole different level because again I never thought I would even talk to you guys about this because in my mind I'm thinking it's none of your business I'm not gonna lie legit um, but then also I've done my research over time and I've come to realize that this is something that a lot of women or parents are going through and it's usually concerning for the woman mostly because we see these things firsthand uh, I just think so um, because we are usually very involved when it comes to these like milestones in the kids life and sometimes the kids will do the milestone and then you tell the dad because sometimes you know work and stuff so daddy is not always going to be around as much as a mom you are doing most of the routines or at least in my case um, so yeah my little girl she's fine you know you see her around she plays she does everything but then she hasn't talked and that became a matter of concern to me it became a matter of concern to both of us as parents um honestly my husband is definitely more believing than me he believes that just like everybody else he believes that um, some kids definitely can have delay but she he doesn't think that um, it's going to be anything but in my mind I'm like well whatever it is we're going to take care of it right now you know I'm not gonna wait till she's three or four or five and then I'm like okay that's a concern no so cuz and I think that's also because we have an older child so we I'm, I know some of the milestones and I know at what age they're supposed to be hitting the milestones and I'm not dumb I do my research I read you know I read a lot like I like re I love research um, I would look into information just to have more information that's just who I am <clears throat> so I've done my research over time and I do know that at this stage she's supposed to have said a few things if not making full conversations i'm not expecting that from her you know 
and that hasn't happened so i brought it up to her pediatrician i on um, our most recent appointment and you know they usually would ask a few questions and yada yada so america definitely has a lot of structures in place and i'm very grateful for that because in this country there is um you you have there's a process that you can go through if you see that something like that is happening or if you have concern like that and i happen to live in this one of the states in this country that has the best type of health care and i'm not even going to lie the best type of health care help it's even the best massachusetts is literally the best um this is the only place i've lived in i mean no i've lived in maryland and i've lived here so this is not the only place i've lived in but i can say for a fact that navigating health here is a lot more um even though it's a lot of paperwork it's a lot more like easier so definitely very grateful for that so we brought it up to the pediatrician who referred us to what we call the early intervention so what they do is they come around assess the kid and then you know advise on what to do and then also give you that help so they send people out who who are speech therapists you know people who are versed in these things who have actually trained um, to help you the parent to navigate these times so that's what we did um, she got referred the people came over today um, she's actually in her home. She's gone to daycare, so she is not going to be here for, she wasn't here for today's appointment, but for the main assessment, she's going to be around. Today was just like an intake type of appointment. Um, so yes, the lady was here. She was very nice, very thorough, um, gave us good information. She's actually not like American. She's from um, Ireland. So we had a lot of things to talk about, which wasn't American, which was really nice because I'm also not American. I mean, I'm not from America. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, I can't believe I, I, I mean, I just want to say that I, I know that a lot of moms in this country, especially from the research that I've done are going through the same thing, speech delay speech delay speech delay i see it everywhere ever since i started doing the research i see it everywhere when you google on youtube everywhere parents are talking about the same thing parents are going through the same thing so i just hope that god helps all of us as parents because as a parent i never thought that i would even be here at a stage where I'm thinking of my child's developments, you know, it's just all these stages of parenting that you go through that teaches you so much. And, you know, for me, this is definitely a whole new experience for me because I don't know how to navigate it. We don't know how to navigate it. Like we're trying, we're doing everything, but it's hard. It's not, it's not easy. It's not an easy time to go through because all you want is the best for your kids. All you want is for your kids to develop beautifully so that they can live in this crazy world that we're living in because the world is crazy. And, you know, we all want to be fine because, you know, we're talking, but the world is crazy for us. And then someone who's not able to talk and express themselves, that is a concern. So I pray that God is with all of us as parents because it's not an easy journey. And um, that is what the situation is right now. Um, yeah. So any mom that's going through that, just know that you're not alone. It's hard. It's, it's stressful. It can be overwhelming. Um, but, well, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure everything out. So, yeah, that's how my morning has been. Uh, so, to the way, okay. But that's how my morning has been, honestly. As, as an African woman, sharing, being vulnerable is usually not the thing for us. Or just generally as a black person, being vulnerable is not, it's not a thing for us. Um, but again, this morning... I was doing something I think I was taking out the laundry or doing something and in my mind I'm like you know what you guys don't need to know about this this is even me being honest and and then another part of me is like share it with them because you don't know who 
who this might resonate with or who might feel like I see you sis I know you're going through that and I'm going through that too and you know I don't know I don't know my, my mind was just my instincts was just telling me that just share it with them because this is a matter of concern to a lot of women in America so if you're going through the same thing I pray that God gives you strength and um, I will share my process with you guys because at this point I have to <laughs> um, but I, I just hope that everything turns out well and I pray for the best but with that being said she's in daycare um, and you know I have the house to myself right now so <laughs> I'm just going to I want to create some content I want to I've been talking for 10 minutes can you imagine I do want to create some content and edit and do stuff so I will do that and get it out of the way and um, just go along the day I haven't eaten all day it's 11 17 so I presume I'm fasting <laughs> even though I didn't plan to fast I guess I'm gonna be fasting um, but yeah I'm gonna make myself something to eat figure out you know some content to create I have some new makeup so I might create some content with that and whatnot but I will see you guys later I've been talking for 10 minutes I need to catch my breath and like figure out what I'm doing with my life right now because talking for 10 minutes that's not about me but just being vulnerable with you guys it's like it's making me a little more comfortable so I'm shy I'm gonna go for a second okay up and down and up and down and up and down <laughs> I love this song Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is down. This is up. This is let me do it. <laughs> and this is down. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Side to side. As this turning around. Mommy. Up and down and 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 up and down and
I think I'll just prep it and put it aside. Now that I have the seafood, I don't know if I want to eat the burgers, but I'll make burgers because my husband doesn't eat seafood. So, um, yeah, uh, it's dinner time. It's 6 p.m. Um, I want to do the things that I have to do. I have to tidy up the kitchen. It's not like bad. I just have to take the dishes out of the dishwasher because it's a lot and it's driving me insane. And I have to get rid of these bowls and then empty my sink because it's full of seafood um so yeah let me just get into what i have to do that's just me talking to myself it's been a good day productive very very productive day i didn't really take you along but i literally just finished filming two outfit videos so it's been a really good productive day um so i'm gonna get into doing nighttime stuff it's the night shift so yeah and let's let's cook okay that's enough of the talking let's cook okay guys so i have washed cleaned pretty much readied my seafood to be boiled so let's go ahead and make the sauce the water situation <laughs> the water that's gonna boil this. this is going to be a very basic seafood boil and i see i just want to eat this okay it has nothing to do with like a seafood boil i just want to eat what i have here so <laughs> let's go ahead and prep the water that or the broth that is going to cook this so yeah so i have my water here and this is the most important thing when it comes to making seafood ignore my microwave she's annoying mm -hmm. this is the most important thing when it comes to making seafood so this is what we need I'm gonna put in like a good amount and then i'm gonna do one stick of butter And then this is garlic cream. I buy this from um, the Brazilian shop that I do grocery, but it also has salt. So Old Bay doesn't have salt, so this is going to do the work. But also I like the garlic flavor with pretty much every protein that I eat. So <laughs> I'm a Ghana girl. Okay. I'll do like three spoons of that. And then I'll just leave this to boil for a little. I don't have potatoes. I don't have corn. Literally nothing. <laughs> so this is just my base, okay? I think I'll throw some parsley and cilantro in here. And then call it a wrap. This is parsley and cilantro. I love these two. <laughs> I'm just adding a little more salt and pepper. Oh, this is like spice. So just regular spices. I'm just adding a little more. Because I taste it and... It wasn't where I needed it to be, so I'm just adding that. Oh, I love the smell of parsley. Just going to stir that in. Leave that to boil. And just suck up all the juices. I think I'm gonna throw some eggs into here, maybe two, just to make it whole. Because <laughs> what is seafood without eggs, right? I don't have sausages, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> this is not your regular seafood, okay? This is basic seafood. Let me taste my sauce. Okay guys, I'm gonna make my butter or the sauce that goes over the seafood because I've decided that I want to have some of the seafood, okay? So I'm gonna start off with my butter and I'm gonna add some minced garlic and onion. Keep like a tiny bit, like a tiny bit of the broth around it, just a little bit, you know, nothing crazy. This is the scallops I was talking about, so good. Take them 
my eggs. Okay. So I have my eggs. Just place the mic so. And even though my sauce is like small, I'm just going to pour it over it. Oh, it is a little small. But it will work. Just going to give it a wiggle. Source in there. There you go. I'm so happy that I made this. If I'm, I'm just going to try to eat some. I'm honestly not so hungry. So, and I also because the sauce is not a lot, I'm not able to like dip some and put it in another bowl. That would just be me wasting it. So I'll eat from here so that I can leave the sauce around it. And then I'll just, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'll just put it in the fridge and then when I'm done, I mean when I'm done I'll just put it in the fridge, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna go um, enjoy that. This is actually it for the night for me in terms of like cooking. I think I want to catch up with you guys when I'm taking off my makeup so we chat a little. I'm watching this Indian true crime documentary on Netflix and it's really good um i like true crime so <laughs> i'm always watching it um, but i'm just gonna go sit down my back is literally aching it's 8 24 exactly so that's perfect for me because i have to finish eating by nine um and i'm so full i've all i've done myself um but i'll see you guys in a little bit so that we can chat okay we'll take off the makeup and then we'll chat a little it's time for me to do my nighttime routine i'm literally i was literally about to jump into the shower i'm not gonna lie because i was dozing off okay i was dozing off while i was watching my netflix thingy um but i'm just gonna take off my makeup and call it a night Oh, and I just want to say that today's makeup was really good. I used the House Labs foundation today. I did like a little test review for it, um, which you should see on my Instagram very soon, or you probably have already seen that. But I just want to say that that foundation is really good, okay? Like, my skin stayed smooth all day. My oils definitely came into play as per usual, but my skin naturally stayed like smooth, no cracks, nothing. I love it. I love that foundation. It's my, it's a, definitely a part of my current favorite. Um, but tomorrow I think I'll just chill. I won't create any content tomorrow because I did a lot today. Um, and you know, I'll just chill to do stuff around the house, edit so I can get content edited and like ready to go for the weekend um, and just like relax that's what I'll do I hate washing this over my sink it's just cost 90 because I have to clean the sink again <laughs> my bath I don't know the bathtub is better because it just goes away a lot more easier um, but let me just quickly wash down because I'm gonna use some toner I'm using the one from Laneige um, I just want to say that if you're a busy mom or just generally a busy person right who is looking into having some sort of like stable skincare routine um but you also really don't have the time to be doing much like you don't have the time for the million and one things that influencers are using on social media right now then i think that you definitely should try out dematica and hear me out i have my days where I'm like, I can't even be bothered when it comes to the million and one serums. But then I'm still looking for something that is going to get the job done the same way. Basically give me that effect. And that's where Dematica comes into place. Demas um, Dematica is a subscription-based skincare service where they prescribe skincare products and ingredients for you. Just for you, okay? specifically tailored for your skin type and your skin concerns so basically what they do is you go onto the website you scan your face or take photos of your face and then based on your face and the results that you put in oh, 
um, licensed dermatologists that work with Dermatica will just examine your skin and take a look and see what you need. And once that is decided, one thing I like is once they decide anything for you, everything is communicated through your email so you know everything, you see everything firsthand. Um, so then they go ahead and send you your prescribed or personalized bottle for yourself. So this bottle is for me and again like I said this has things that are going to help my skin. These are things that I actually need for my skin and it was exciting to see that they sent me this because I have tried using a prescription brand before and the ingredients that I see here are literally the same thing that I had in that brand and that was a very good um, treatment for my skin. My skin loved it and it's just one product. I like that okay. I have my days where I just can't do the whole 9 million and one skincare routine. I have days where I love that. I love to pamper myself and like do layer my products and just make my skin feel very extra for me all of those is just all of those things are just extra honestly if you have one product that can do the same work that five products are doing what is the point of layering the products okay so if you're a busy person who still loves taking care of their skin who still wants to like show up in your best skin possible or you know the best skin yet try Dematica for subscription you get to save something off obviously i'm going to save something off for you guys so with my code you get to save 10 percent off so i'll put my code on here and then also in the description box for you guys to check it out but if you are a busy person try me no trust me and try it out okay like look at my skin when I tell you <laughs> that I haven't been using, like, I really don't have any serum right now except for uh, my pharmacy serum that I have. I usually would have, like, niacinamide and then I would have some hyaluronic acid and then I would have some sort of, like, resurfacing serum. I layer, like, three, four serums at night and it just because it makes me feel good. But then I have my days where I'm like, this bad boy as little as she is she's still gonna get the job done and i love that for myself so again um it's been a few weeks you guys remember when i first received it it's been a few win um, weeks since i used the dermatica brand my skin is amazing obviously she's loving i'm actually pmsing so i have like a few breakouts here and there but it's just because it's that time of the month it's not even like <laughs> You don't even see it so <laughs> yeah uh but i love the brand i love the brand i had it in mind that i wanted to talk to you guys about it and i kept forgetting and like today you know what i have to talk about it because if you're a girl like me that loves skincare loves to take care of yourself but don't want to like go crazy break the bank or like you know buy an extensive list of products just to keep up no you don't have to you have to try dermatica it's literally what you need so yeah <laughs> uh, but yes that is it for my nighttime routine you guys i am done exhausted and i gotta go sleep <laughs> for daycare it's like i'm the one going to daycare when well, she's actually going to daycare now uh, but tomorrow is friday it's also a daycare day so it's 9 30 ish we're just gonna call it a day everything is done skincare is done everything is done okay so i'm gonna go to bed and i will see you guys tomorrow Good morning. Good morning, you guys. I literally just came back from daycare drop off. Um, she was actually crying today. I'm like, oh no, why are you crying? But she is in daycare, so she's all good. My little agenda for today I have like a to do list for the day because. I have the day off so I'm not working so what I'm gonna do is I'm working out I'm gonna just change myself into my workout fit go and do me a full body workout it's Friday um, so I want to get that done and out of the way and then after I want to do pedicure my feet is crusty as hell I'm ashamed at the way my feet is looking but the last time I paid someone for pedicure they did a good job but i do a better job it's what i realized i do i'm able to like go into the nooks and the crannies like it's my feet and i know exactly how i want it to look so i mean she did a good job it was just not as thorough as i wanted my pedicure to be so i'm gonna do that by myself after my workout and then i'm gonna shower 
and then today's an editing day i told you guys i'm going to be editing some content for the socials just like i always do and then yeah that's just what the day is going to be it's honestly going to be a chill calm day probably take off some laundry it's honestly just going to be a regular day i always like to have a plan in my mind for what my day should look like because i don't just like to wake up and go into the day it doesn't work for me <laughs> so i always have a plan i always have a to-do list it's just who i am it works for me it makes me feel productive so yeah <laughs> so yes let's change let's get some workout i'm happy to lift some metals because you know <laughs> let me just change and get my workout done <laughs> And I ain't talking my pockets, just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it If I got it, you got it, if I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it Yeah, I got that shit on, damn, she took that thing off and bring it around Going at it till I'm on, put that nani in a hole, I'm beating it down I'm back in that bag again, oh, 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 say less I'm back in that bag again, yeah, yeah, oh, say less I'm back in that, yeah, what you doing, yeah, yeah I'm back in that, hey, where you going, hey, hey Back in that bag again, don't bring me around your friends You know that I'm bagging them Request me on Facebook, no I ain't adding them Positions I had her in Hit from the back, that we splattering Calling her friend, tell her pull up Word, let's make it a gathering They I said, the baby, again. nah, I'm Maddox now But she loving the splash again I just be cashing in her buns Just like a wedding, I'm crashing in Hundreds on hundreds, I'm moving and grooving She wanna cut up, I'ma slash again Buckets on buckets, I'm switching edition Back in my bag, going back again oh, I feel like Aladdin, yeah I'm on a carpet, flying through orbits Ain't doing no talking, why? Damn, my body, as soon as I Walking, be stalking. You guys, that workout took me out. <laughs> like, I can't feel myself. I can't feel myself. But it's good that I did the workout because, you know, I've been like off for a long time. It's time for me to take off this wig. Uh, yeah, she's she has to go. <laughs> this is literally my favorite wig. This wig is me in its entirety. Um, but also because it's Kelly, it pulls, it will like literally become so big so fast. Um, even when you try to like tame it, it still becomes big, which I don't have an issue with. Again, this hair is me, it's extra. Like, look at that. This is me. <laughs> if I had hair, if my hair was growing, this would be my hair. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Um, but I feel like because I have had to like lay it, relay it a few times, and I've had it on all week. Um, that's fine. So I'm just gonna take it off. Um, but there's this product that I got from Amazon that I want to show you. So I got this lace dissolver or solvent is what it's called. Um, but this is supposed to help me take off my lace and also sort of help me protect my edges because you know these glues are crazy. Um, so initially I would just use alcohol um but apparently that is not the healthiest way to take out your hair i'm so tired i said i was gonna do the pedicure right after i finish working out i'm tired <laughs> i'm so tired i can't so i'm just gonna spray this down let's try it out okay let's test it out and see but this is the brand just in case you guys wanted to take a screenshot and I would also link it on my Amazon storefront. So that's if it works. If it works, okay? I don't sell you guys bad stuff. If it's not working, what's the point? But I read reviews. You guys know me and my reviews. I read reviews. And the girls said, this is all you need for lace removal. So, it kind of feels like it's working already. Because it's oil-based. Yeah from the smell and the texture it definitely feels like it has some oils in there and you don't even need a lot I like the fact that it's a spray so you can literally just target it in the areas where you need to put it in oh this is look at that ah oh, look at that literally and I did not use I used the proper glue glue this is the glue I used to lay the hair okay from even New York um, I didn't use 
just the even spray that is usually very easy to come off and that's what I've been using for a long time but I wanted to have this hair on like all week so that's why oh this is really exciting it does come off like look at that <laughs> look at that it's literally oh that is interesting <laughs> it's coming off no oh, that's nice no more alcohol for me <laughs> oh that's nice I'm really happy because alcohol is in my in my mind I feel like alcohol is a little abrasive like it's too strong especially for my hairline no <laughs> maybe if you have hair alcohol is okay for you but my hairline oh, can you see yeah, like that literally came off can you imagine the way these glues are hard to take off oh this is so impressive uh, Oh, this is definitely impressive. There you go. <laughs> I know. Whenever I take off my wigs, I'm like, whoop. And I whoop. <laughs> and I whoop. <laughs> but my hair. This is my hair. You guys are used to it, so no. But the wig is off. It came off with everything, literally. I'm going to try to spray some on the wig. I can clean it up. But I'm going to go take my shower, you guys. I am done with the workout. Just a quick OOTD. I've been trying to look for the best lightning that I can show you guys. That's but it's just not working. I don't know how my whole apartment only has warm lights. Like, why? Anyway, my outfit of the day is this two-piece set that I got from Amazon terrible lightning it makes me so mad like why <laughs> why is the lightning this bad god i'm really mad at the lightning <laughs> anyway is this two-piece set from amazon very comfortable i love it like it's so cute i actually styled it for my instagram yesterday so i will have an actual video so that you guys know or see the vibe but that's my outfit of the day it's very comfy i love it i will leave a link for you guys if you're into two-piece sets you would love this so can you imagine like this light is terrible <laughs> what i can't wait to move out of this apartment i'm not even kidding like i cannot wait to move into a place with much better lightning and just much better view i was gonna say vibes but i love my vibes here like this home has been serving me for a long time so i'm very grateful for it but i'm ready to go i'm ready to be gone <laughs> oh god wash days are not fun my hair is like an inch long and when i wash my hair i'm still tired anyway um i just like quickly shampooed my hair oh boy oh yeah <laughs> See, I laugh at my own hair. Okay, so feel free if you want to laugh too. <laughs> but look at how I'm all wet. Oh my god. Anyway, it's time for me to... I feel like some of the conditioner almost entered my eyes. My eyes are so sensitive. Oh, that hurts. That's so annoying. I hate it when soap enters my eye. <laughs> I'm about to use some Olaplex treatment. This is the third time that I'm trying it out. So... I don't have much to say about it I just like apply it in my whole hair and then I just like sit down for a few minutes it does say that you don't need so much but let's be real as a black girl <laughs> we want to see that the hair is literally eating the product up before we'll say that okay <laughs> So, yeah, and it's so small for how much it costs. Like, this little bottle is so expensive. Like, why? It makes no sense. It really makes no sense. Like, the little bottle alone is like almost $30. Or oh, it's over $30. It's like a little over $30. Or almost $30. Like, it makes no sense. <laughs> so, yeah. I better see something. <laughs> This is the only deep conditioner I've been using for the past few 
um, you know, weeks. And I'm just going to keep using that, honestly. Because the girl says it's good. And I will try it out to see. I'm going to keep trying it out to see. But, yeah, this is basically my treatment. I'm going to leave this in for, again, for like 15 to 20 minutes. I'm watching Love is Blind. Ah, I'm so excited. I wanted to do my pedicure. But my pedicure bowl, I can't find it. Which means that we probably threw it away. Anything that I can't find in this house, we probably already tossed it <laughs> in the trash. So I don't remember tossing it. So if I didn't toss it, my husband tossed it. Um, but that's okay because tomorrow I will go and pick up a new one from Dollar Tree. They have these like random bowls, and I that's I use one of those for my pedicure. So tomorrow I'm gonna grab one of those and then do my pedicure with that. But Tonight, I'm just going to do my hair, wrap it up, and go to bed, and then call it a night. Um, but yeah, my face is so dry, just because I shampooed my hair and washed my face. Can you imagine? <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to go sit down for a few minutes, and I'll come back, and then, you know, we can do the rest of the hair together. Okay, so I washed out the Olaplex, and I'm going to go ahead and put in some of my Curology Treatment. And then I'm going to use this Mizani 25 Miracle Milk Leave-In Conditioner. I got this with my point on Sephora, so this is actually like a sample bottle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and like put some of that in my hair. Oh, okay, so I have to like... Oh, but you guys, this is my hair. It looks so damaged. I know. <laughs> the entire, like, this entire part is, like, relaxed. And then the rest of my hair is, like, natural. It's so weird. Um, I've just made up my mind that I don't want to cut it anymore. You know, so I'm just going to, like, leave it by itself to grow out, do its own thing. And then, you know. It will just like grow out and then the relaxed part is going to like fall off. So I'll just leave it to do its own thing. guys so it is a lot less later it's actually kind of like late now it's time to unbox the shoes it's time to show you guys the shoes that i was talking about so the first one that i have here these ones i'm sure you guys will love them because i think that these particular ones <laughs> i think that these particular ones are dupes for some goodness on Amazon <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry on Amazon these are called Paravanos okay and even the name sounds like some really like nice posh classy brand Italian brand like this is what it looks like it's literally kitten heels but it's pretty I love these so much you can do so much with this um, you know if you're corporate girly, if you like a dinner, it's, there's so much that you can do with this. Just, I love collecting shoes. Let me say that. Shoes, I think I'm more of a shoe person than I am a bag person. But I do like collecting these two things more than I do clothes. I definitely collect a lot more shoes. Jewelry, <laughs> definitely. Like, I always wear a chain. It's just, I love jewelry. I love shoes. I love bags. I love like hair it's my thing like that's how I come I do my hair every time like these are my things the girly things that I like these are the things like shoes you know 
I'm gonna have me a nice shoe. I'm gonna have me a nice little bag. Like my my dresses, I usually don't really put so much thoughts into it. But shoes, I feel like I have an eye for like really good footwear. So this is it. I really like it. Um, really pretty. I will leave a link as usual for you guys on my Amazon. And I see these second um, pair of shoes. I haven't actually seen them, but I ordered them. So I know what they look like, but I haven't seen them in person. So I'm excited to see what they look like. Um, oh, but they're gorgeous. They are gorgeous. Oh, mm, look at that. Like, look at these pumps. Like, are you kidding? Isn't this gorgeous? Like, look at this detail. Look at this detail. This is, this is a vibe. Like, what? This is a heel heel. It's giving us, like, a little four inch heel. We like that. I'm a size seven, if you're wondering. Um, size seven is a perfect fit for me. Let me actually try these. Oh, I like them so much. They're so pretty. They are so gorgeous. Oh my god. Oh, they're so nice on my feet. Oh my god. They're so good. Oh my god. I want you guys to see it, but then my floor is not presentable. Okay, it's not. Oh, that is so gorgeous. It's literally so beautiful. And it's suede. The material is suede. So that gives it gives us an extra classy touch because you can never go wrong with suede fabric when it comes to, you know, fashion and just generally like shoes. They just make you look good and classy. I love these shoes so much. I just knew I was gonna like it. I just knew. Like I just knew she was gonna be a gorgeous shoe. Oh I can't wait to wear this. This is probably going to be my birthday shoes. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, oh, it's beautiful. Uh, I will leave them linked. I know that I, I said to myself that you guys would like these. Um, but these are the shoes that I have. Comment below, let me know how you guys like them. Because I love them. Also, if you want a link, it's always going to be on my Amazon storefront. My Amazon storefront is always linked in the description box. Um, sometimes I might forget and then someone will comment and I would go back and put it there. So. If you if you don't see it, please definitely remind me um, but yeah <laughs> I think I'm gonna call this week's vlog a close here if that's even something that we say um, but I'm just gonna bring this week's vlog to an end it's been a beautiful week in my opinion um, comment below what you think about the week but yeah it's been a beautiful week I'm just gonna close off the vlog so I can edit and then tomorrow I can you know open up a new vlog because I don't want to be late I've been telling you guys I'm trying to do better so yes if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and if you're new here please my name is Akusia Benhini subscribe to my channel if you love my content please definitely do subscribe to the channel it helps YouTube to know that you mean business okay and then give the video a huge thumbs up not a huge one just a thumbs up we've said it so many times so we're used to it but give it a thumbs up if you like my content and if you're you know just give it a huge thumbs up, okay? <laughs> Just give the video a thumbs up so that the algorithm knows that you like it. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram. I say it every time. I post a lot more on Instagram, like daily makeup content and lifestyle content. So surely follow me on Instagram. But I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in next week's vlog as per usual big up yourself okay shout out to miss trudy she's in jamaica and she, whenever i watch her vlog she's saying big up yourself and i can't i can't get this out of my mind so big up yourself i love you guys okay bye <laughs> when they say she get it from her mama mama say you fuck her right your body do this bump like tell me in the hall because tell me is you down cause i'm trying to go good tonight i'm hoping she slept right